briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2002, the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York heard the case of MDCM Holdings Inc. v. Credit Suisse, First Boston Corp. The case centered around MDCM's class action lawsuit against Credit Suisse for alleged unfair underwriting practices during IPOs. The class action suit represented issuers whose securities increased in value by 15% or more above their original offering price within 30 days of their IPO, between January 1, 1998, and October 31, 2000. MDCM accused Credit Suisse of breaching underwriting agreements, implied covenants of good faith and fair dealing, as well as fiduciary duties of loyalty, due care, and fair dealing by allocating shares to preferred customers and sharing in their profits. The court found jurisdiction for the case in October 2001 due to Credit Suisse being located in the Southern District of New York and a significant part of the events in question occurring there. Credit Suisse attempted to dismiss the lawsuit on the grounds of the Securities Litigation Uniform Standards Act of 1998, SLUSA, and the Martin Act claiming that MDCM did not have standing to raise state law claims. However, the court ruled in favor of MDCM, stating that their claims were not preempted under the Martin Act as the lawsuit involved a contract dispute, not a securities action, and SLUSA did not bar the class action. The court denied Credit Suisse's motion to dismiss, allowing MDCM's breach of contract, breach of good faith, breach of fiduciary duty, and unjust enrichment claims to proceed. MDCM had sufficiently alleged the essential elements to plead a breach of contract under New York law, and their unjust enrichment claim survived at the pleading stage. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.